And that breaking news once again from UCLA, where thousands of protesters are standing their ground tonight on campus. This time met by dozens of police and the CHP. So far, it is peaceful out there, nothing like what we saw last night at 11. Good evening, everyone. I'm Colleen Williams. And I'm Carolyn Johnson. Right now, LAPD is on a citywide tactical alert, meaning all officers are being kept on duty in case things get out of hand. Now, they did order this crowd to disperse hours ago, but as you can see, it only appears to have grown. We have live team coverage tonight out of Westwood, beginning with Robert Kovacic, who was out there with us last night. He is back once again tonight. Robert. Colleen and, Car and Carolyn, you said it, it's peaceful right now, but it is incredibly tense. We are standing in Dixon Plaza, just feet away from the encampment. Right now, we want to give you a sense of what is going on here. This entire area has been barricaded to not allow the protesters access. As for us, we, if once we leave this plaza, we are not allowed back in. Behind me stand members of the LAPD. And they have been here and coming out of two separate buildings here on this campus of UCLA. And as we walk the distance right now, so you can see of what exactly they're trying to protect, the LAPD forming a line all across Dixon Plaza here, facing those protesters, and here facing the encampment, another line of LAPD officers. Important to point out, the LAPD has explained to us they are not the lead law enforcement agency here. They are here, they say, to assist. Also, in place right now, members of the California Highway Patrol that are here facing the encampment. An encampment that has now been here for exactly one week. An encampment that has only continued to grow. When we were here for the very first hours of this encampment, it had not yet reached the steps of Royce Hall. And now, as we come over to this side, here in the corner, they are now basically at the entrance to Royce Hall. The tents and everything stretch that far. And on the sides of Royce Hall and Powell Library are people, protesters there, and law enforcement blocking the entrance here. The fortress here of the encampment, and it has become a fortress we have witnessed all night. They have tried to keep up these plywood planks. We have heard drills, we have heard nails of them trying to reinforce it, knowing perhaps what is ahead and what is at stake. And those are members of the encampment that remain there tonight that say that they will continue to remain here. So what we are looking at right now here on the campus of UCLA is perhaps hours away from being taken down. The chancellor has said, after what took place last night, calling it one of the darkest chapters in the history of this university. Right now, it appears we are hours away from the final chapter of this encampment being written. That's the very latest from here on the campus of UCLA. I'm Robert Kavasek. Let's go back to you.